Okay then, so you join me today at Premier Inn Potter's Bar. So I've just been in and checked in. Let's go and have a look. So, a bit disappointed when I checked in. Unfortunately, the restaurant shut. I wasn't made aware of this when I was booking. But looking around, they're doing bits of work. It looks like they took all the signs down along these walls. And there's a lot of uh, markings for the tarmac here. I'm not really sure what. There is absolutely shed loads of parking here. It is a massive hotel. This this actually used to be a former Holiday Inn, and then uh, a few years ago it was changed. Okay, so I'm in room three two four, and that's not good, is it? Falling off. A lot of old linen outside that room, huh? So I've just been here and bought my bag in. So, everyone always says all Premier Inns are the same. Well, that's not the case. So, let's have a look. Right then, so we've got a lamp that's a bit skewed with. That's drawn my eyes to it straight away. But this is a super king size bed, which is not normally what you get. You normally get a king size. So, this will mean it'll probably be a zip and link, which isn't the best. Uh, normally you get like a chaise long as well uh, so you can put your bag on there and that's sometimes spare bed well that's not the case here but you do get air conditioning so does it work we will see it turns on anyway so let's just straighten that lamp that's really annoying me right okay then so yeah not a bad room is it you can tell we're closer to London you, you your, uh, your rooms get a lot smaller. Right, so there's no bag stand. There's nowhere to put any of that. So I'm just going to have to use the desk tonight. Also, what else have we got? We've got a big wardrobe slash mirror slash everything else. Some pillows in a bag there. And uh, a bit of a hurry to do your makeup. Whatever else. Hair uh, dryer. Right, bathroom's a bit different. So there's a step up. So it's not disability friendly into the bathroom and then you get your shower ones again with a big step you don't normally get them with a really big step up like this um that's a good six inches up that is there any pressure let's have a look well first of all it's actually pretty clean you can tell this has been recently done um and they've recently changed the soap as well you get baileys and harding now it was some green stuff before Right, so I'm just getting the shower, but look at the state of this. It's all green and brown and every colour you don't want it to be. So, I'll just stand aside, let's see. <laughs> oh yeah, there's loads of pressure. Okay, so yeah, it, it was warm. That's not an issue. But it does smell a bit funky in here. It smells a bit like vinegar. So I'm not sure what they've been cleaning it with. I really don't like how they give you these toilet sheets. It's like I'm in a public toilet. Especially you know, when you're paying this sort of price, it's not the best. But it is clean, so it's not too bad, is it? It's not too bad at all. Right, one thing that did annoy me with this, so is when you book a Premier Inn, you can have food, you can get breakfast here, that's the beauty of them. They didn't tell me when I booked it that the kitchen is closed. So they said, they even put menus in your room, look, just to entice you with the stuff you can't have. So uh, I got an email after I booked it to say that the restaurant is shut due to an electrical problem that they've had. And none of the machines are working. Well, I don't know if that is the case, to be honest. Because um, I believe this has actually been going on for quite a few weeks now. Uh, I was just unaware. So, yeah, that annoyed me. Um, you're not really in a very good location here. You're next to a services, which is what I was trying to avoid uh, by booking this, but it looks like I'm going to have to go there tonight, some tweet. Um, yeah, so I bought myself a little salad from uh, a shop round on there, but apart from that, you're a bit snookered really. Right then, so is the kettle clean tonight? Let's have a look. So, cups facing the right way around, that's good to see. We've got a PG Tips and Kenko tonight. And is it clean? Well, let's have a look at that. Yes, it is sparkling. 
so that's really good don't usually have a problem premiering so pretty good right then you can let me know what you think the signal here by the way is terrible so it's got to be relying on the wi-fi tonight so this place is absolutely massive to just show you how long the corridors are wow so this is the ground floor level but the the basement level sorry um, there's more rooms down there and there's more up here tell this used to be a holiday and this is all the old style out there then you got another wing all the way down there which goes that way and that way so this is a main way to reception Same again, there's more down there. It is absolutely massive, this hotel. So this is the bar area, that's all shut. Right then, so next day now, and I slept pretty okay in this bed, but it is a zipping link one, so there's a big line down the middle. Uh, so I don't like that. I would have just preferred a normal king size bed. Um, shower, so there was pressure last night, but there isn't any more. Uh, unfortunately, due to the demand, it's quite low. It was okay, but it just weren't the best really. Would I stay again? Well, not at the minute, no, because there's no food options. So last night, I had a wander over outside. There's literally nothing here. Um, you got the services, but it's a, a long walk down a road with no path. So I decided against that. Um, yeah, just went hungry instead. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Right then, that is it for this one. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And would you stay here? And if you've not subscribed already, please do so. Because it'll really help me out.